Dr. Poquet, it is your claim that the defendant drove his truck in an erratic manner onto your property and caused some damage. Caused damage to the sod, caused damage to a tree, caused damage to some piping. Mr. Willis denies that he caused any damage. You were not present. Correct. You found out about this as a result of receiving a communication from the police in your mailbox. Mm, that's correct. Do you have any witness who witnessed him driving onto your property? No, ma'am, I do not. Uh, I do have parts of his vehicle that was in my tree and on the ground within the tree. Do you have f photographs of that? Yes. When did this happen? Uh, May 23rd, 2016. I also have a police report that states okay. he was... Because, you know, without a witness, it's problematic for you. However, if you have a photograph of a piece of his car... Yes. ...in your tree... Oh, yes. <laughs> I think that that's sufficient. Now, you drove your car onto his property, clearly. You acknowledge that, correct? Yes. Why? I... It was raining out, and a deer ran out in front of me. What time of the evening was this? It was around midnight. Where were you coming from? I was coming from, uh... Um, uh where? Pardon me? Where? From a, a friend's house. Had you been drinking? No. Did you say no? <laughs> and you left the car there? You yes. left the truck there? How did you get home? I had called a friend. He came and picked me up. Why didn't you call the police? I didn't realize... I, did, I wasn't... There was no one else involved. Well, there was... <laughs> It was, you were on somebody else's property. No, actually, I was on the other side of the road in a ditch. And I'd like to see the note that the police left you as well. That one I have in my phone. I have a picture, but it's out in my bags. Just to show you. There, and he says there. I got there. it. I got it. I, I see where the piece of his car was. So they towed your car, correct? Yes. yes. Did you ever get your truck back? Yes. When? About four days later. The damaged tree was in the root of the fresh tire tracks in the ditch. Well, you told the police that you swerved to avoid a deer, and that's when he hit a tree and ended up in a ditch. I hit a tree branch. That's not what you said. You said you hit a tree. They actually ended up in three ditches. Shh. I have one more police report, too. I'd like to see it. Okay. The original one does not have his insurance information on there because he didn't have insurance. I spoke with the officer Just to, a second. to get the insurance Did, Were you driving this truck without insurance? Yes. Only because it was on a Saturday and I couldn't call the insurance what? company. What? It was on a Saturday and I couldn't call the insurance company to put insurance on it. What do you mean? You bought it on Saturday? No. I was just decided to drive it that day. <laughs> <laughs> so you were issued two citations on that day, sir. One for driving without insurance and one for leaving the scene of an accident. I believe it's failure, failure to... Failure to report, report an accident. Report an accident. Yes. Right. Well, that's leave the same. He told my... When did you pick up the truck? I believe th about four days later. With what company were you insured when you picked up the truck? I wasn't insured. So they let you pick up the truck from impound without showing them proof of insurance? Yes. I, 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 picked, it up, I picked it up on a trailer. He did have pictures of it on the who trailer. Do you, who do you... cover... Uh, uh, Mr. Phuket, don't All be right. annoying. Who covers the truck now? It's not covered now. I don't drive it at the time. Well, what'd you pick it up for if you don't drive it? Well, I didn't want to let them keep it. You've got an interesting answer, Mr. Willis, for everything. I want to see bills for all the damage that you had, sir. Yes, ma'am. The top is the original. Shh. Judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $4,200. We're finished. Thank you.